Welcome back to Cool Trade University. This is Gene Garino. We're going to go through a series of trainings on stock market terms and definition. Now, this is not meant to be an exhaustive training, just an introduction to these terms. So if you get it on the first run, terrific. If not, you're welcome to listen through it again and again. That's why it's here for you. So let's go through. And the first one we're going to talk about is SMA, or Simple Moving Average. A lot of things are based on this, so we're going to start here. Let's start by looking at the definition. A simple or arithmetic moving average that is calculated by adding the closing price of the security for a number of time periods and then dividing this total by the number of time periods. Short-term averages respond quickly to changes in the price of the underlying, while long-term averages are slow to react. Now, you're looking at that chart, and as we go through, the textbook definition of moving average is an average price for a security using a specified time period. Let's take the very popular 50-day moving average as an example. A 50-day moving average is calculated by taking the closing price for the last 50 days of any security and then adding them together. The result from the addition calculation is then divided by the number of periods, in this case 50. In order to continue to calculate the moving averages on a daily basis, replace the oldest number with the most recent closing price and do the same math. Now, no matter how long or short of a moving average you're looking to plot, the basic calculations remain the same. The change will be in the number of closing prices that you use. So for example, a 200-day moving average is the closing price for 200 days summed together and then divided by 200. You'll see all kinds of moving averages, from 2-day moving averages to 250-day moving averages. It's important to remember that you must have a certain number of closing prices to calculate the moving average. If a security is brand new, maybe a month old, it was an IPO, you won't be able to do a 50-day moving average because there, you have insufficient data points. Moving averages can be calculated using monthly prices, weekly prices, opening prices, or even intraday prices. Along with the simple moving averages, we're going to go right into what's called exponential moving averages, or EMA. One little difference, and I want to look at the definition with you to get it. It's a type of moving average that is similar to a simple moving average, except there's more weight given to the latest data. The exponential moving average is also known as exponentially weighted moving average. So this type of an average reacts faster to recent price changes than a simple moving average. The 12 and the 26 day EMAs are the most popular short term averages and they're used to create the indicators like the moving average convergence or divergence known as MACD and we'll talk about that and the percentage price oscillator PPO. In general, the 50 and 200 day EMAs are used as signals of long term trends. So we've talked a little bit about simple moving averages and exponential moving averages, giving you a little introduction to those terms here at Cool Trade University. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more.